Well, good afternoon, everyone, and certainly I wanted to reach out and wish everybody a happy new year. Hope that you had a great uh, holiday break, and we welcome you back for yet another semester. Uh, I think you would all agree that uh, in the last year there's been a lot going on in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Two of the big things that have happened in the college in the last year is the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences realignment, as well as the new strategic plan that we've developed for the college. I wanted to first reach out and thank all the faculty and staff that were so supportive in helping us go through this transition. You know, at the end of the process with the CALS realignment, I feel very good about our future. Uh, two of the outcomes of the CALS realignment was a new naming of a department from the Department of Plant Biology to the Department of Plant and Microbial Biology. And we also had the formation of a new department called the Department of Applied Ecology. And I look forward to the success and interaction that these groups have in the new College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Of course, the other major initiative that we've worked through in the last year is the development of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences strategic plan. I think the strategic plan is going to create a great foundation and a great uh, road map uh, as our college moves towards the future as we grow to be able to produce agriculture and life science products for North Carolina, for the United States, and for the world. So I wanted to tell you just a little bit about some of the things that are already ongoing with the strategic plan. Uh, we've had some new strategic hires. Uh, in my office, I've recently hired Dr. Marshall Stewart as a special assistant to the dean who's going to be working on leadership activities within the college as well as strategic planning within the college. Uh, we've also had the great fortune of hiring a new person in international programs to help boost our international program activity. And I hope that you all have welcomed Dr. Jose Sineros to the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences two new positions that we've recently created that will work with both the research office and the extension office to be able to help faculty and staff do things better with their job. And, you know, as an example, we have developed two new positions that have been developed specifically to be able to help faculty and staff. One of the positions is a new grants coordinator and grants writer. And the focus of this person will be to work with and help faculty and staff write grants and coordinate all of those activities so that we can be more successful. The other new strategic position that will be hired is someone that will be in charge of corporate relations, helping us to be able to work better with our stakeholders with a specific emphasis and focus on Research Triangle Park. I'm very excited about the Dean's Enrichment Grants Program that we recently launched this past fall we've received 142 proposals. It tells me that we need to look very hard to be able to identify additional resources to be able to make activities like this happen in even bigger ways. It's obvious that with the new strategic plan we have a lot going on in this college and we want to do whatever we can to most efficiently and effectively communicate what's going on to our important stakeholders internally with faculty, staff, and students and also externally. In the last year, we've spent a lot of time trying to evaluate ways in which we communicate to both our internal and our external stakeholders. One of the things that we identified is that there might be a more effective way of communicating information to our stakeholders that's different than the way that we do things today. So if you look at our strategic plan, we have three pillars of excellence, and then under that, we have 12 specific goals. So one of the purposes of this new form of communications is to be able to talk specifically about each of those goals and how we plan to implement change to be able to grow our college. So the goal here is to be able to change the way in which we communicate much of the information that was provided in the administrative briefings. So the way in which we're going to do this is really in, in two different ways. One is a video exchange, like what I'm doing here today, in combination with an online website interface that provides information on announcements of the college, a, cal a calendar for the college, as well as that headline information that's so critically important for all of us to have access to. The idea behind this new website interface is that we think it'll be much more user-friendly. Uh, it'll now be a way of communications where we can now search for information. And I think another very important feature of this new online website tool is you'll have the ability to not only look at information, but provide information. 
So what can we expect as we move forward? Each month you should expect to be able to get this new form of communications, which is a combination of a, video, a short video clip plus information on the website. And what we'll find is that each month this video clip will be provided by a different leader in the college, which is focused specifically in a particular area or associated with a particular component of the strategic plan. This will allow you to understand how the strategic plan will be used to grow this college. So in moving forward, I would suspect that there might be a lot of questions. So Andrea Peros from my office in communications will be sending out an email today which further explains this new online website interface and she'll also be working with department heads in the next couple of weeks to be able to schedule a meeting to be able to come to your department and talk more specifically about this new form of communications. Have a great semester and go Pack!